Hello, this is Seiko's video tech tip on our tri adjusting cylinders. We have two models. We have the uh, 2001-00, which is just a cylinder. It adjusts your uh, optical plummet only. And our 2002 cylinder, solid cylinder with a vial. This will adjust your circular vial and your optical plummet. Uh, to calibrate and to use these, you will need a, a instrument stand. A lot of surveying shops have an instrument stand, solid, bolted to the floor. Or a tripod, if you're in use, an instrument tripod works just as well. And you'll need a tri uh to help adjust the one that you are adjusting. So to use it, you would position your tripod or your instrument stand under your target. Uh, to use these... This goes in your tri -brack. The one you're calibrating or need to check the calibration goes upside down on the cylinder like so and allows you to look up. Above this here, you will have a target of some type. These uh, standard adhesive uh, targets work real well. These are available. Well, most servers have these. So this goes on the ceiling above you. It does not have to be exactly plumb or vertical above here. Just with a plumb bob is more than accurate enough because the bottom tri bracket allows you to tilt and point the one that you're calibrating. So the procedure is once you get it set up here, it rotates really freely around it. Focus on your target. Use your bottom leveling screws to actually tilt, just like you would if you're setting up a ground point in a real uh, uh, situation. Point it exactly on your target. Okay, once you're pointed on your target to check calibration, 180 degrees, walk to the other side, look through it. The amount of error, if it's not dead on your target within say the diameter of a uh, uh, 32nd of an inch, uh, actually you can calibrate these things dead on. Uh, if it has an error, half of the error is actually in tilt Half is in adjustment. Adjustment is made by unscrewing the cover. Uh, once you ex expose the cover, it exposes four adjustment screws. Move those in an X, Y pattern until the crosshair is back on your target. 180 it again and check your displacement. Keep doing this until from point A to point B you're dead on. And then in every quadrant, check it. Uh, if it's concentric, which it will be, you'll be on in every position. As a reminder, when you're doing this technique here, the bottom tri brack does not have to be level. I repeat, does not have to be level because you're only using it to tilt and point the tri brack that you are calibrating. The axis of rotation is still concentric even if you're not level. For example, if I tilt it this far off, I'm still moving around a concentric axis of rotation and therefore you will be accurate. The tri brack becomes plumb when you turn it this way and center your tri brack bubble. Then it's plumb and shooting perpendicular straight down to your ground point. To do the circular vial on a tri brack, you'll need the 2002. Same thing, set your tri brack that you're calibrating on a tripod that's very stable or your instrument stand. Set your 2002 into the dish. Level the, this is a regular plate valve like you'll have on any theolite or total station. The leveling and centering of this is exactly the same. Go crossways against two leveling screws, bring the bubble to center. Like so, then 90 degrees to the other leveling screw. Again, bring the bubble to center. Go back to your first position, touch it up because you will go out a little bit, touch it up. Okay, now to check calibration of your, of your tool here, 180 it. If it stays within the lines, you're more than uh, calibrated enough to, to calibrate a circular valve. Because again, remember this is a two minute bubble, whereas most tri have an eight or ten minute sensitivity. So once you have your 2002 leveled all the way around, Look at your circular valve. If it's out of center, move the three adjusting screws in a, in a pattern until 
the, your circle valve is back to center. Uh, you loosen one, tighten the other two. To work in a pattern like that works best. Keep the tension snug, but not overly tight, but definitely not loose either. Keep a snug pattern, and once it stays in center, uh, and this is centered all the way around, you've just calibrated your circle valve.